In this lecture, we'll be taking a look at how we can create documentation for our web API projects using Visual Studio 2019. So here you can see I have selected ASP.NET Web Application. Click on Next. And you can give any name over here. Let's call it as Web API App. And you can store it at any location you like. For instance, I am storing it over here, ASP.NET MVC directory. Next, click on Create. Here, you will be presented with options like empty web forms, MVC, web API, or single page application. All you need to do is you can go ahead and select web API. Here you can see it automatically selects MVC and web API. It also configures HTTPS, so you can keep it if you feel like working on a local environment requires you to have SSL. So you can go ahead and click on this. Now let's go ahead and click on create. So it's going to create the project web API app and here you can see the application is now available. Now inside solution explorer you'll find this controllers and here you'll see two controllers home controller and values controller. Click on values controller and this is the API controller. So here if you want to create documentation for any of the methods all you need to do is just where this comment goes you can type three times forward slash and this is going to generate the summary for that particular method so here you can see it says parameter name id and you can mention what exactly this returns so you can say string for example and here you can give a summary of this method so returns of value you can click on save now so this is one thing that you need to do include summary tags above your method names next you go to solution explorer select the project where this controller resides and then right click go to properties go to build and here you need to select xml documentation file now the documentation file will be created inside the app data directory and that code resides inside this areas directory help page and app start help page config.cs now here you'll notice this line which says uncomment the following to use documentation from XML documentation file so just go ahead and uncomment it click on save to save this now all you need to do is just copy this from here and go to your web API project properties and here you just need to paste this and save it. Now if I go ahead and run this, here you will see the API link, just click on it. And there you can see for others, there's no description available, but for the get API values, you have a documentation or description available which says return a value. So you have seen now how easy it is to create a web API documentation in your ASP.NET MVC project using Visual Studio 2019.